Dr. Shannon. So, uh, students, uh, welcome to philosophy. Uh, first lecture, philosophy subject and functions. Uh, students, you may uh, ask questions. Mm -hmm. Why do you study philosophy? Why uh, do you come here? What questions we will consider? What, what problems we will consider? And so, um, with, uh, within this frame, we will, uh, we will analyze uh, many problems. We'll, uh, we will consider many, uh, many questions. And so, let's start with uh, first attempt, with first point, with first notion with philosophy, its object and functions. Today's students will consider philosophy in general, about uh, the thinking and about the culture of thinking, philosophy of thinking, then we will get information uh, about following items. Philosophy of cognition, ep epistemology, philosophy of education, science, techniques, technology, philosophy of soul, spirit and language, philosophy of consciousness and uh, unconsciousness. <coughs> uh, so. The question is, uh, what is a philosophy? You may answer uh, to this question that philosophy is, is a uh, simple thinking. Uh, well, and why, why am I uh, asking such a question? And why uh, you, may ask, or you may answer uh, this question that philosophy is, is a, a simple thinking? And so my answer will be philosophy is not a, a, a simple thinking. Philosophy is, is much more th than a, a a simple thinking, but, but philosophy usually begins with uh, thinking, uh, free thinking. And so we will start with the philosophy of thinking. Then we, we will, uh, we will uh, think about the, the, f the following items, philosophy of cognition, epistemology, philosophy of education, science, techniques, technology, philosophy of soul, spirit, language, and consciousness and consciousness. Within philosophy of, of, of cognition, we, um, uh, so we will uh, answer to the question is, our world cognizable? Can we uh, can we recognize our world? Within the uh, philosophy of, of cognition, um, uh, gnosiology, uh, there are uh, very many groups. One group of, of uh, uh, philosophers, they thought that our world is uh, is not cognizable. They are agnostics. Our world is not uh, is not cognizable. We cannot cognize our world. That we can recognize our world, our world is cognizable. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, this sentence uh, belongs to the Gnostics. So, by Gnosticism, the school of philosophy, our world is cognizable. We can recognize our, our world. Then, epistemology. Epistemology is a branch of philosophy which studies our knowledge. Our knowledge. And then, if I ask you a question, uh, did you understand something? And you are answering uh, to my question, yes, teacher, I have understood uh, your question, I have understood. Uh, so what, what, what is the uh, process of understanding? How usually human understands uh, something? To all these questions, uh, epistemology tries to find answers. So epistemology, uh, epistemology is a sphere of philosophy which studies uh, our knowledge, the validity of knowledge. Is our knowledge valid to objective uh, world? Mm -hmm. Then philosophy of, of uh, education um, uh, considers and um, uh, analyzes the questions with, with, um, with problems of, our s of study, of uh, education, um, validity of, of our, of our uh, education. The process of education, the process of study, the process of, of research works, the process of sciences, and philosophy of education is tightly connected with philosophy of science, of techniques, uh, technology. Then philosophy of soul, spirit, and languages is, is uh, also is a significant and uh, important uh, part of philosophy. Within the soul, spirit, and uh, language, we, s we study uh, we study very interesting items of, of philosophy. Then philosophy of con consciousness and uh, unconsciousness. So let's start with the term, the philosophy. The term philosophy comes from Greek language. It consists of two words, philos, friendship, affection, and sophos, uh, Sophia, wisdom. A brief et et etymological interpretation sounds like love the wisdom. If you uh, love the wisdom, then 
you will love the philosophy. But philosophy is not limited with the simple love, the wisdom. Mm -hmm. Philosophy is much more than uh, love, the wisdom. Philosophy, nowadays, at, at present times, philosophy has no limits. Philosophy is tightly connected with, with different sciences, with different disciplines. Uh, philosophy is tightly uh, connected with uh, psychology, with human, psych uh, human psychology. Philosophy tries and will try and try to answer the question, what is a soul, if they're uh, afterlife, if they're life af af after human death. And, uh, but the first step of philosophy begins with love, the wisdom, how to be wise personalities, and uh, what is what is meant to be wise personalities, and what is the meaning of wisdom. The first who used this word was Pythagoras. He didn't dare to call himself as wise man. In his view, it is only it is only God is wise. God is wise. Mm -hmm. There is only God's wisdom. So there is only, uh, it is only uh, local or private opinion of, of Pythagoras. Pythagoras, he was an ancient Greek philosopher. So here one of the first symbols of wisdom philosophy, Iris, Iris, the rainbow as a bridge between earth people and sky gods. For the ancient Greek philosophers, philosophy wasn't only a form of knowledge, learning, but also a form of life, existence, and even the first form or, or way of life. How can or should begin philosophy in each case, and how a single person it, it, attached, uh, attached to it? Various thinkers have different answers to this question. Plato began to widely use the term philosophy in his dialects. Then Aristotle believed that philosophy begins with wonder. Wonder in front of the mystery of the world is unity and diversity, it's infinity. To be surprised and to, to see something in its untouched pristine is very difficult. Interpretation of the wisdom of uh, Demo Democritus uh, rightly points out that philosophy cannot be reduced to knowledge, although in death knowledge is necessary uh, for wise. Next one, Heraclitus was appointed for, for as uh, pointed out by another ancient Greek philosopher, Heraclitus, knowledge of much uh, doesn't teach uh, to be wise. So, private opinion of, of uh, Heraclitus. Soon as René Descartes, Descartes, he was a French philosopher, um, famous French philosopher, his uh, famous um, sentences, his famous motto, I think Therefore, I am cogito ergo sum by Latin words. I think here, uh, therefore, I am. By our thinking, we can prove that we that our life is real. So Descartes saw the real beginning of the philosophy in doubt. We should we should have doubts by René Descartes. Philosophical knowledge is knowledge of a whole, entirety of the whole, the world as a whole that could be defined as a subject of philosophy. The whole combines, uh, integrates parts, provides them into unity. It is clear that only something in common and significant can ensure unity of the objects. However, it should not be taken so that philosophy doesn't show any interest in the parts. Uh, of course, a whole doesn't exist without parts. But the parts are taken here in that connection that leads to a whole, include them in the general chain of the global process, in the fundamental unity of the world. It is also I important to have in a view that philosophy is internal dissected formation consisting of independent philosophical studies. So since independent philosophical studies, ontology study of being, gnosiology uh, theory of cognition, epistemology study of knowledge, philosophical anthropology, social philosophy. Ontology, study of being, being, uh, all the things uh, which uh, by which we are surrounded, every material uh, object, every material subject, uh, so all the things are 
considered by ontology. Ontology is a study of being, being and non-being. Nociology, I have already told you, nociology, theory of cognition, is our world recognizable? Can we recognize our world? Or we cannot recognize our world? Or maybe, so if uh, you have doubts in cognition of our world, you are skeptic students. So epistemology, study of knowledge, uh, it is tightly connected with our knowledge. Do we have true knowledge? Is our knowledge valid? Uh, the philosophical anthropology, study of man, of human, uh, evolution of human, how human mm, is uh, developed, developing the history of human, humanity, social philosophy, philosophy of, of society, of society, social philosophy, social norms, um, culture, social philosophy is, is, is tied connected with culture, with spiritual and material, uh, material values of humanity, with customs, with um, traditions, with social norms, and uh, etc. Next one, aesthetics. Study of the beauty, if there are beauty outside, uh, so for example, we have consciousness, you understand? We can, uh, uh, so we can take pleasure from, from, from beauty, from beautiful forms. And there is a question, can animals uh, take pleasure from the beautiful things? Uh, can they enjoy beauty? No, they, they can't enjoy the beauty. And uh, the beauty and ugliness, these categories uh, are uh, notions of, of, of human consciousness. Then logic, study of thinking. Logic is, is, is divided to formal logics, uh, dialectical logics, mm, symbolic logics, and uh, uh, mathematical logics. Mm -hmm. Futurology, study of the future. Is our future pretermed? Can we uh, make the future? Can, can we create the future. Axiology, study of the values. What wa values we have? Spiritual values, material values, and uh, mm, what is the culture? And uh, why do we have values? Maybe wh why do different societies, do, do why do different cultures uh, evaluate, appreciate some values that don't evaluate, don't appreciate some uh, uh, another values? Uh, there's a question. Then ethics, study of morality. Morality, study connected with, uh, so ethics is a practice of philosophy. We, all the people uh, should develop morality, should be moral, should be respected each other, should respect, respect other people, respect all elder people, and so, and um, everything. Directly to the world as a whole goes on the ontology, but this doesn't mean that there are no study of the whole integrity in other philosophical disciplines. Social philosophy studies the direction of historical process. What is the history, paradigms, um, EI model, model patterns of social life of people? In all its forms, philosophy teaches a holistic thinking, an integrated interpretation of all existing parties, all aspects of human existence. Philosophical knowledge then should be classified as problematic one. The problem enter philosophy uh, is defini definitional by definition. In a rigorous logal, logical philosophical approach, the problem reveals its true meaning to be an issue on which there is no answer in the existing system of knowledge, but which nevertheless growing out uh, from it. The problem is a kind of knowledge about ignorance, the bridge from the known world into the unknown world. In this context, we can understand the Socratic phrase, I know that I know nothing. And indeed, expanding the circle of knowledge will increase the area of contact with world of ignorance of the unknown. There are problems in any science, but in philosophy they have eternal nature. That is, philosophy deals with the problems which don't have any final decision solution. Each era and every great thinker give their own interpretation, understanding and resolution of philosophical problems more or less authentic, compelling, but a very relative. Philosophical knowledge is not only problematic, but alternative. Philosophy makes a lot of different responses to any fundamental question. There is no the answer but there are a lot of answers. 
Philosophy makes uh, philosophical knowledge is also critical knowledge. Philosophy checks all the dogmas, techniques, authority, all the values and have uh, circulated in society. So critical knowledge. You know that uh, students in, in, mm, at European universities, uh, the students study critical thinking. Critical sti thinking, uh, because critical uh, thinking learns uh, students how to think critical, how to accept all uh, different information critically. To develop critical thinking means to develop logical thinking, to, to think logically, to, uh, to know how to operate with uh, different methods of thinking. Philosophical criticism reveals limitations and the r relativity of all knowledge. In this respect, philosophy is different than rhet rhetoric which convinces the listener in one way of the truth. The main instrument of philosophy is not conviction and the discovery and critical test, the truth. Criticism is naturally connected with reflection. Reflection is self-conscious or cognitive thinking, self-aware, knowledge search. Reflective thought is a thought turned on itself. Philosophical knowledge can be described as well as humanistic knowledge. In this case, we investigate person as a philosophical phenomenon because he exists in this world. Philosophy interest in universality in its human, humanistic dimension and meaning. Philosophy explores the world displayed on the person. Knowledge becomes philosophical knowledge when it, it is projected on the human being and is involved in the formation of his worldview. In philosophy and the science. Solution to the question, is philosophy the science, depends on how we, we understand science and how we evaluate philosophy. Science is usually in identified as a system of true knowledge, but it is an uh, exaggeration. First, the foundation of any science has highly uncertain character. Second, at the highest level of science, there exists its uh, heterogeneity, contradictory theories, uh, unproven th uh, theorems, purely uh, hypothetical uh, constructs paradoxes. Third, science is a social institution, EI, social diversity which contains people, their research roles, uh, misconceptions, prejudices, and dreamers. Philosophy has a more comprehensive nature intended to generalize the truth. Philosophy unites not only scientific but r religious, ethical, aesthetical theories and opinions. Historical types of alcohol, mythology, religion, and philosophy. Well, uh, students, philosophy usually begins with mythology, with myth, with legends. Then uh, next step, religion, next form of philosophy, religion, la last one, philosophy. And uh, for example, by um, contemporary um, philosophical school, scientism, uh, uh, positivism, first step of, 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 our, of our outlook is mythology, next, next step, uh, next uh, step of Next form of outlook is religion, and last one is philosophy. Uh, uh, the next one is philosophy, metaphysics. Last one is science. Science is a last stage of human consciousness, of human outlook development. So let's start with uh, with myth. World outlook is a system of views on the reality and humans place in it, in it, and in a certain historical cultural epoch. Philosophy, in mm, b uh, in English version by World, the, the by Great Britain version is, is a world outlook. Which world, world outlook we have, such philosophy we, we, we hold. An outlook has a definite structure. Everyday and scientific knowledge, creeds, faith, uh, principles, etc. Outlook carries out the function of human knowledge of the out outer world. Outlook has two levels, rational theoretical level and daily and practical level. There are three historical types of outlook, mythology, religion, and philosophy. I, I've told you right now, students. Huh? So mythology is a system of legends in which is stated the understanding of the emergence and structure of the world and man as its inherent element. Different mean, the, between mythology and religion. In mythology, the, the, there are very many gods. In religion, there is one god. <coughs> official. It is an official, <coughs> official mm, difference, but there are very many differences. 
Myth is the first form of cultural activity of man. Cosmogonic myths are about the origi origin of universe. Cosmo uh, cosmological myths are about the structure of the universe. Religion is a faith <coughs> in the supernatural substance, which is based on strong system of moral norms and the special organization of people. Faith is a form of existence of religion. Religious outlook is characterized by symbolism, which is a significant phenomenon in nature of history and regarded as a manifestation of God's will. The world is divided on the world and unworldly spaces. Mm -hmm. Definition of philosophy. So as much as much is it defined before philosophy, the study of fundamental laws of the world, man and man's place in this world. <coughs> philosophy is focused on three key elements, nature, social life, and human. The question of relation between matter and consciousness is one of the main, uh, main questions in, in philosophy. So, so the fundamental question of philosophy, the relation be between between matter and consciousness. Uh, what was the first, matter or consciousness? If you believe that matter was the first and matter has created, uh, and th that consciousness is a form of the matter, you are materialist. If you believe that uh, consciousness was the first and matter is a um, form of, of our consciousness, you are materialist or you are idealist. What uh, school you will prefer, it is your own, your, it is, uh, uh, your own choice, students. By materialism, does God, God doesn't exist. There is no God um, uh, in our world. Mm -hmm. Only matter exists. Uh, by by idealism, God exists, angels exist, and all the world, uh, what is described in in, in religion, and religions, all the world is. Uh, exist by, by idealism. This question has two aspects. What ca comes first, matter or consciousness, materialist and idealist? Students. Can we recognize the world, gnostics and, and, and uh, uh, agnostics? Functions of philosophy. The four basic functions of philosophy, outer function of philosophy is the ability to give a united uh, picture of the world in general to combine data of science, arts, practices. The first function out of uh, out of, uh, function students uh, uh, philosophy creates your world outlook and it is a system of knowledge in this system in this system of, of, of your knowledge you can put every your knowledge every your skill mm -hmm. you can drive a car it is a skill you can read books you can um, you can earn money you can respect other people and so all the skills all the knowledge are united by, by, uh, by whole system, and this system is is called as um, world outlook. So philosophy creates scientific philosophical world outlook. It is it it looks like it uh, it, it looks like um, IQ intellectual qualification. So what is intellectual qualification? Intellectual intellectual qualification is a um, your uh, personal world outlook. What a super strong world outlook you have, such uh, so very uh, developed uh, intellectual quali uh, quali qualification uh, you hold. Methodological uh, function is to identify ways to achieve some goal, such as scientific knowledge, authentic creativity, social practice. Philosophy is a strong by its methodology. Philosophy creates methodology. Uh, the core principles, uh, the core principles are in methodology. Philosophy is strong by its methods, methods of investigation, me methods of solve different problems, methods of uh, by methods by which we can solve problems, we can uh, create another problems by by methods which we can achieve different scientific discoveries. Methods. And what is a uh, so what is the specifics of, 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 of philosophy? Philosophy just took and takes different scientific discoveries from natural sciences, from physics, mathematics, he chemistry, history, uh, archaeology, and philosophy took them all 
unites them, unites them, and philosophy creates the whole representation idea of our world. And philosophy, by this way, creates the uh, united uh, systematic methodology. And philosophy offers this uh, methodology to different sciences, and different uh, sciences can invest investigate some uh, spheres by by the strength of of methods which they took from philosophy. Humanistic function is Im implemented in a very careful attention to the man. This function is referring to man as the active phenomenon. The practical function of philosophy is above all the aspiration to moral, ethical virtue of the people. Philosophy, of course, consists of history of philosophy and theory of philosophy. The periods of evolution of philosophy, the ancient oriental philosophy, uh, the phil uh, philosophy of ancient Greece and Rome, medieval philosophy, the philosophy of Renaissance, New Age, philosophy, German classical philosophy, and philosophy of 19th century, and philosophy of 20th century, then Russian and Kazakh philosophy. So periods of uh, philosophical ideas development. Ancient oriental philosophy and comes from ancient Indian and ancient Chinese uh, cultures. So uh, our ancient oriental philosophy is about philosophies, ideas, norms, uh, notions, uh, categories of uh, ancient Greek, or of, excuse me, of ancient Indian and Chinese philosophy. And Japanese, Korean, uh, Japanese, Korean, and then Iranian, Iraq's, uh, Egyptian philosophies are additional. We don't study these uh, uh, cultures. Then philosophy of ancient Greece and Rome, Gre Greece and Rome, then medieval philosophy. Uh, Greece, Greece and Rome uh, is about the rationality, development of rationality, and about phil philosophers of ancient Greek times, very great philosophers. Then medieval philosophy, uh, development of two uh, world religions, Islam and Christianity. Then philosophy of Renaissance, mm -hmm. mm, development of arts, development of anthropocentrism, anthropocentrism. The New Age philosophy is scientific revolutions, emergence of scientific revolutions, <laughs> emergence of uh, such great scientists as uh, um, Descartes, Spinoza, Leibniz, uh, Newton, mm, Pascal, Mendeleev, Lomonosov, and others. German classical philosophy. And why German classical philosophy was named as German classical? Because classical problems uh, the, the, the German philosophers tried to solve classical problems of philosophy. Philosophy of 19th and 20th century, so are close to our, uh, mm, to our present times. And uh, they are, these philosophies are tightly connected with techniques, technology, and philosophy of the science. Key findings. Philosophy of the subjective a search for answers to the fundamental issues of existence. Philosophy is ethical man's attitude to the world. The appointment of philosophy is an understanding of the world and human security of the universal conditions of improvement. So main questions, students, main questions. Once more, first one, philosophy has worldview, meaning of philosophy, philosophy is an, an art of thinking, philosophy of thinking, culture of thinking. We'll study culture of thinking, we'll study thinking. Philosophy begins with thinking, and philosophy is a worldview. I have already told you, I have already explained to you. Uh, I have already uh, so analyzed philosophy as a worldview. And students, you have already known that philosophy uh, and worldview are the same uh, notions. Fundamental question of philosophy is uh, the interrelation and correlation between matter and consciousness. And it is by this by answering to this question, all the uh, philosophers are, are, are divided to materialism and idealism. By materialism, matter exists, and consciousness is a form of the matter. By idealism, consciousness is, uh, was the first one, and consciousness creates the matter. Then, main objectives of the uh, philosophy, philo philosophy creates worldview. Philosophy, uh, by philosophy, you should, um, you should use critical thinking, by philosophy should use systematical thinking, by philosophy should use different methods of thinking. And you should develop your logical thinking. And uh, 
you should t take only valid knowledge from, of, uh, from educational process. The appliance of philosophy. Philosophy is, 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 is applied to, uh, to develop, uh, to develop uh, logical thinking, to develop scientific thinking. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, appliance of philosophy, what is the uh, need of philosopher for, for several, hum for example, for humanistic or for humanitarian uh, disciplines? Uh, philosophy offers different methods, uh, different methods. And for example, uh, for sociology, psychology, uh, sociology, psychology, political science, philosophy is, is needed, is, is necessary, because f philosophy helps to solve different problems by giving uh, different methods of investigation and of solving problems, scientific problems. The main schools I, I have told, idealism and materialism, and my, uh, the main direction uh, are metaphysics and dialectics. Metaphysics, meta by metaphysics, our world is not changeable. By dialectics, our world is changeable. Uh, for instance, students, right now, you may mm, you may look at every subject which is uh, so uh, which is here, which is near to you, and every s in, in every subject there is a um, uh, there are molecules. There are molecules. There are atoms. In atoms, there are movement, uh, so eternal movement, and this eternal movement is um, the proofs that everything moves, everything changes. Dialectics. By metaphysics, there is no change in our world. Uh, representatives or exponents of, of uh, metaphysics uh, are uh, Zeno, Zeno, Leif, Kip Leif Kippus, and other uh, ancient Greek philosophers. Uh, representatives of, of uh, dialectics are uh, Heraclitus and uh, Cratyl and others. Then some main branches, ep logics, epistemology, Metaphysics, dialectics, ethics, aesthetics, eschatology, cognition, ontology, axiology, anth anthropology. So, since logics, let's start with logics. Logics is a branch of philosophy which, which studies logical thinking, formal logical thinking. Then, logics is divided to different forms. I, uh, I have already explained to you, which which have been already explained to you, students. Um, what forms of logics? Uh, mathematical logics, uh, formal logics, dialectical logics, and symbolic logics. Epistemology. Epistemo epistemology is a branch of philosophy which studies knowledge, our knowledge, uh, how we usually understand our world. What does it mean to understand something? Uh, the, the process of understanding, the process of, of study something, of learning. This is epistemology. Metaphysics. Metaphysics deals with, uh, deals with um, subjects and abstract and abstract uh, notions which are beyond our comprehension, beyond physics, metaphysics. Uh, so, mm, abstract notions, abstract categories. Dialectics, dialectics studies, uh, dialectic studies, uh, I told you, our world in movement, in motion. The, there are several uh, explanations of dialectics. The last one is dialectics is a branch of philosophy which studies uh, the most fundamental uh, forms and norms of our objective reality development. Then ethics. Ethics is a morality, our moral behavior. Aesthetics is a beauty and ugliness. What is a beauty? What is ugliness? Explanation of two uh, categories. Eschatology. So this is interesting branch of philosophy. Eschatology studies uh, the life after the death. Apocalypse is life after the death. What will be after the death? Is there a life after the death? And apocalypse. Then cognition. Is our world cognizable or not? Then different schools, um, agnostics, agnostics, and skeptics. Ontology studies being, being. Axiology studies uh, values, spiritual, material values, valuable things for people. Anthropology studies humanity. Humanity and development of human, all things uh, which are connected with human development, with development of human, of, of uh, human nature, uh, history of the human. There's the philosophy and the science. There are differences between philosophy and the science. Philosophy is much. Philosophy is a science, and together with them, philosophy is much more w w than the science. Philosophy is a religion. Philosophy is a philosophy contains religion, science, art of the thing, everything. And, and together with them, philosophy is a science. Is a science. History, philosophy. I have already told you. Uh, and why do you s uh, s why do you 
neat philosophy students I have already expa explained to you. Subjective idealism, objective idealism. Idealism students is divided to subjective idealism and objective idealism. Uh, idealism is mm, all about religions, all about our ideas and subjective idealism. Consciousness is real by objective idealism. The energy, uh, energy is real. Deism, pluralism, ma uh, monism. By deism, our world has been created by God, but God is an um, observer. He observes our reality, and he doesn't participate our reality, our reality developed by its own laws. Pluralism, there are very many gods. Monism, only one god. Then dualism, there are two gods. Teleology and phenomenology. Teleology, there is a principle, and then um, principle and um, uh, target in our reality, aim of our reality, phenomenology, studies phenomena of our world, that we uh, understand our world by phenomena. Determinism, our world is determined. There is no uh, uh, free actions in our world. Everything is determined and there is a fate, there is a uh, so uh, restricted and uh, a connected uh, what uh, human fate, human destiny. Existentialism is a um, school of uh, is a school of uh, contemporary world philosophy. By existentialism, human is an alien, and object our objective world is an alien. We can we cannot understand our world because our world is an alien for us, and we are alien. And that's why so we cannot um, we cannot know the truth. The truth can be, can be uh, understood, can be known only by existential situations. And this philosophy we will study within the contemporary philosophy. Then Marxism, philosophy called Marx, Zygmunt Freud. Mm -hmm. Pragmatism, uh, pragmatism also, also is, is very interesting philosophy. If you are clever, why are you poor? And every, uh, so every uh, philosophical idea is truth if it works, mm -hmm. if it uh, if you can earn money, then your philosophy is, is uh, truthful. Pragmatism is a um, specific feature of our contemporary uh, Western and uh, American philosophers. And postmodernism is a name of uh, 19th and 20th century philosophy. Then deconstruction philosophy of, of Jacques Derrida. Then philosophy of the life and the death. We'll study also what is the life or the death. Philosophy of consciousness, spirit, soul, and consciousness. Will study. I will, um, I will explain you a little later. Philosophy of consciousness, philosophy of science, technology, techniques, scientism, positivism, also different interesting uh, things. Philosophy of culture. What is a culture? Culture is a system of spiritual material things which are passed from one generation to another. Philosophy of human humanity. Will study philosophy of religion. Also will be interesting. Uh, then philosophy of uh, hermeneutics, the an art of uh, interpreting of interpretation different scriptures, mm -hmm. social philosophy, and political philosophy, also the philosophy of language, and uh, philosophy of nature, philosophy of law, philosophy of civilization, philosophy of love, and philosophy of psychology. So philosophy. Right now we are finishing our first lecture. Later we'll study. Uh, the next, mm -hmm. the next items, uh, the f uh, dif dif different other items which we have been, um, which we have been considered. Mm -hmm. Bold, but uh -huh.